Welcome back to Daybreak in our football frenzy tailgate. We're at Fruitport High School standing on a brand new surface. Doesn't it look amazing? Yeah. They finally have turf out here and it was an intricate process to install and it took a lot to make it happen, but the administrators know it's going to be a game changer for the football players and the musicians. We get in late into the season in Michigan, you know, the weather starts to become a factor and it wears on the grass fields. Playing on muddy fields has been a way of life for the Fruitport High School football team, but not anymore. They're currently working on cutting in all of the numbers and the hash marks. Workers have spent the last few months installing a new surface, turf. All of the, the markings on the field have to be cut in laid into the field, uh, glued and sewn in. Uh, a grass field and what goes into the maintenance of a grass field from watering and fertilization to cutting the field to lining it. It took years to make this happen and not only because the district needed to pass a bond proposal to pay for it. So one of the reasons uh, that it, it took as long to get to where we're at is we needed to work closely with the uh, drainage district and with the uh, water resources commissioner in Muskegon County. With those drainage issues taken care of. The big old mud puddles, it's been raining so our practice field is starting to get real muddy. The band will also be glad to say goodbye to messy marching days. It will mean better preparation for the players and the performers. Most competitions are not happening on grass anymore. They're exclusively on turf. And then at the end of our season, um, we've been fortunate enough to qualify for MCBA state finals and get to play at Ford Field. Um, and this is going to help us prepare for that a whole bunch. The biggest difference, there's some somebody else trying to stop us from performing well. <laughs> you know, they don't have to fight against anybody else. But yeah, it's, it's very, very similar. Yeah, so Donovan, I know everyone's really excited. This is the first night they're going to use the field. So the band will perform on it for the first time, and the players will be playing some football out here for the first time after all the work that it took to pass the bond to make it happen. So they're excited to celebrate as a community. Yeah, a lot to celebrate, of course. And if, if they get that win tonight, it's going to make everything that much more special. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Teresa. Good, good seeing you. Look forward to seeing you in just a little bit here. Time now is 6.20.